Technical director Billy Wilson, team head coach Ewan Montgomery. And now the lineup for the Unionville Militants. Wearing number 26, Paisley Schillingford. Wearing number one, Sophia Ferini. Number three, Alina Rubenia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 Gary Miller Charity Shield, brought to you by Ontario Soccer. Before we kick off this thrilling encounter, Ontario Soccer would like to take a moment to acknowledge and pay our respects to the Indigenous peoples of Ontario. We recognize that our work and the work of our membership takes place on Indigenous territories across this beautiful province. We honor their enduring presence and unique contributions to our shared culture. Ontario Soccer is committed to promoting inclusivity, diversity, and reconciliation in our community. And now, without further ado, we invite you to immerse yourselves in the magic of the beautiful game right here at the Ontario Soccer Centre in Vaughan, Ontario. It's time to enjoy the thrill of soccer as the 2023 Gary Miller Charity Shield kicks off. Get ready for a day filled with skill, passion, and excitement. Thank you for joining us, and let's make this an unforgettable soccer experience. And Mr. Matt Ferreira, Director of Development. And it is now time to recognize this year's under-14 Girls Division OPDL League Champions, Unionville Milliken SC and North Toronto SC. I'd like to call upon a team captain from Ottawa, from Unionville, and a representative from Hamilton to accept the North Toronto SC to accept the OPDL League Champions plate and League Champions banners on behalf of the teams and clubs. Um. Grant a big hand for your 2023 OPDL League Champions. And now, if you're able, will you please stand for playing of our national anthem?
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Ontario Soccer Center in Vaughan, Ontario, for the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield final between Unionville Millican Soccer Club and North Toronto Soccer Club. Launched in 2014 with the 2001 age group, the Ontario Player Development League is Ontario's first tennis form of standards-based youth high-performance program that combines top-level competition with comprehensive high-performance training standards. This innovative and exciting youth high-performance program is an important standard bearer for the adoption of the long-term player development program across soccer at large in Ontario and Canada. Covering the U13 to the U17 age groups, the OPDL with 28 license holders and two partners is critical to enhancing development for players, coaches and match officials hailing from Windsor in the west all the way to Ottawa in the east. This program has come to be the pace setter and embodiment of a more refined standards-based high performance development environment benefiting players, coaches and match officials across Ontario. The Gary Miller Charity Shield is the culminating event for the OPDL season each year, which also raises money for Ontario charities alongside the crowning of the champions. Last year, over $14,000 was donated to charities as selected by the winning teams. Hop was break, by, break that mark by donating and purchasing merchandise while also participating in our silent auction which features great prizes like a signed Canada Soccer National Team jersey. This weekend marks the third annual edition of this competition after it was renamed in honor of former Ontario Soccer Director of Soccer Operations Gary Miller in 2021. As a friend, mentor, and coach to many generations of Ontario soccer participants, Gary was a pioneer for Ontario soccer and the modernization of the game as well as his match official development. Nor was Gary's influence more critical and impactful than as a member on Ontario soccer's technical advisory committee which have developed the standards for the OPDL, which launched in 2014. We applaud all the finalists here at the 2023 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield, who have excelled all season long on and off the pitch this season and succeeded in the face of adversity to earn a berth here at this prestigious event. Good luck to all teams here. As we take a look here, to as the teams do take the field, it'll be Unionville Milliken in the all reds going from your right to your left on your screens at home. And in the white and green is North Toronto going from your left to your right on this very windy and cold Sunday afternoon here. So the wind is going in the direction of the North Toronto goal. So Unionville has a distinct wind advantage here in this first half as the referee is Tanya Candido. She'll get this action underway in this girls under 14 OPDL for a total of 80 minutes with some breaks in between which allows the coaching staff to make the necessary changes between corners. See an early attack going in on the far side. That's Kara Jajakis. Kara Jajakis trying to break it in through over on the left side. She gets tripped up in a winter team. A free kick as the referee Candido calls that one down. The assistant referees are G. Vivek and Lucia Valdez. The fourth official is Mobin Ashtiani for this match. As Kara Jajakis scored 12 goals so far this season for this OPDL squad. Tola and Murray with 16 apiece led the tally for this North Toronto team. As they'll be going against two of the top scorers in the OPDL on the Unionville Milk and Sky in McLeod and Medley. As this one's gonna get taken towards the near post, that won't trouble the goalkeeper at all and roll easily towards the waiting hands of Fiorini. And she'll roll this one out towards her defense as Unionville will look to get this ball out of their own half. Iko Morton. Tries to get herself through the midfield, but gets taken away from her by Smith as North Toronto. Got to see if they can continue on to attack, but they do win themselves a throw in, does Kearney. Stella Kearney leads out this starting 11 on this North Toronto squad, led in goal by Madeline Tiltek. In front of her, we have Maya Russell, Sophia Woods, Sydney Glean, Abby Tola, Blair Murray, Malia Smith, Sienna Purisi, Alexia Carriger Jackis and Maria Alkikakis as that will round out to this Nortron team which finished first in the West with 16 wins, a single draw and three losses. Taking the tally there going against this Unionville squad who just had a slightly different record, very similar but 16 wins as well, three draws and just the single loss instead. As this one's going to get played towards the midfield as North Toronto continues to try to move the ball forward. Woods just going to play this one out wide for Smith. Smith gets the cut inside, tries a left-footed effort. That's going to get blocked by a defender. 
And Smith, though, going to continue to put the tack in and not let Ishmael get out of her own end. And North Toronto will get thrown. Unionville Milliken Soccer Club squad led in goal by Sofia Fiorini. Her starting 10 in front of her will be Alina Rubinian, Aiko Morton, Nikki Ishmael, Alyssa McLeod, Iris Opong. Danica Medley, Georgina Morrison, Emily Wong, Paisley Schillingford, and Riel Nemard rounds out this starting 11 coached by Don Taffy. Like you said, this squad with McLeod with 35 goals and Medley with 26. Those are the two players that have scored almost all the goals so far this season for the Unionville Milliken squad. So if North Toronto is just going to keep an eye out for them. As the last time these two teams did play, it was a high scoring affair. There was a little bit of a push on the back of the North Toronto defender, but she allows that one to roll out of play out for a goal kick. These two teams faced off at the very beginning of the season, the first match of the season. And it was a four all draw with Medley picking up two goals, Morrison and Rebenian for Unionville and Kara Jodrakis, Smith and Russell picking up the goals for North Toronto. So with this wind though, I expect a little bit of a different game here in this match. But it, if uh, Unionville can really take advantage of that wind, they can definitely get themselves on an early foot on this match. Referee making sure they go back to the correct position for the throne. Moving them back a little bit. As making a cut in there is Morton as they try to throw it in towards her, but he gets blocked by Woods. And the Unionville player coming across will clear it out of play for a North Toronto throw in. Toronto FC is the official founding premier partner of Ontario Soccer, as well as the co-presenting partner for the Ontario Player Development League, the province's youth high performance program. Their commitment to the game in Ontario is unrivaled. Visit torontofc.com for tickets and more. Long throw and trying to get up to the foot of Murray. Murray's going to battle it against Schillingford. And it's going to get hit off of the North Toronto player. Now for a throw in for Wong on the far side of the field for Unionville. Trying to find some options up the field for North Toronto, and they will find the short play as the midfielder Woods is able to turn with the ball. It's got two red jerseys on her, though, and she looks for some support, and we'll find some backwards as there's some claims there of a handball, and they will win the free kick. Does North Toronto as they try to kick this one up the field. Ball gets hit up the field towards Murray. Murray falls down a couple times, and Schillingford will get called for the foul. So another free kick this time in the Unionville half for North Toronto. And coming over to take this one will be Russell. And Russell will play this one in short as North Toronto tries to loop this one in towards Murray. Murray will be able to control this one. But she gets some help with Ishmael, and Unionville will try to launch a counterattack the other way, but a good job there from the midfield. Prevents that quick attack there from Glean. Smith and Morton battling strong for the ball as the pass goes in behind Woods, and that allows Unionville to hit this one up the field as they try to get up to that leading goal scorer. That's McLeod up top for Unionville. Nemard gets it taken away from her as Glean looks to settle this play down. Alakakis plays this one out wide down the line, trying to get it up towards Tola. He gets blocked here in the throne on the far side. Canadian Premier League on behalf of its Ontario best member clubs, Forge FC, York United FC, and Atletico Ottawa are also premier partners of Ontario Soccer and co-presenting partners of the OPDL. For updates and more information, please go to canpl.ca. 
Nice Shillingford. Pair of twins on this Unionville squad. Peyton though is injured and not in the lineup, so it's just Paisley Schillingford for this Unionville squad and holding down that center back position as she's trying to win that ball. She climbs into the back of Murray and the North Toronto bench is screaming right now, expecting that one to be a penalty. They thought that foul was gonna be going in the other direction, but instead Murray will get called for the foul and it'll be a free kick in favor of Unionville. A little miss hit though off of that free kick is gonna allow Woods to lead this one in for Tola. Tola looking for some support and she has it. Kara Dijakis will win her team a throw. And there's a deep clean side from Unionville again. Unionville has a quite distinct wind advantage, but it, the possession has been in favor of North Toronto here in these opening eight minutes of this first half. Let's see if Unionville, though, can make use of this attack with Ishmael. Gonna send this ball out long, and Opong is gonna go give chase. Uh, coming way out of her goal, but the ball is still loose. Opong, though, will be able to get onto that one, and it will get cleared aside, and Unionville will get a throw in. As the North Toronto keeper, Tiltak, was sliding out of the goal, couldn't control the ball on the ground, however, and the ball spilled loose, but Opong wasn't able to get onto that one. As the ball was fortunately cleared away by the defender, and now for a throw in. Toronto is as well missing one of their key goal scorers on this team in their final match of the season against Woodbridge. Pineda Abuda picked up a double yellow card for a red card and so she is suspended here in this match. Had eight goals in the season. So having to do without one of their top players is North Toronto here in this match. Have a good look at that wind right there, holding that ball up on the clearance. And good tracking there from Smith, letting that ball come to its rest. Uh, she's gonna play this one down the right side. Birisi gets it up from Murray. Smith can control that pass and look like she might have twisted herself a little bit, coming up a little bit hobbling after that one. Hopefully she's gonna be okay as the play will resume though over on the far end of the field for Unionville as the North Toronto players just trying to hobble herself back into position. Throwing it too far though for McLeod. And it'll be a goal kick here for North Toronto. Now if you're Unionville, you recognize, okay, you got that win going in. The North Toronto players won't be able to send these goal kicks long, so they gotta put a bit of a high press. Don't give them these short passes. And Unionville, I think, recognized that a little bit, a little bit late to react, but maybe they'll see it for the next time. Come in close, don't give them the short passes, force them to try to play the long kicks. As we see a good pass come on the left side, Opong trying to force her way right through Ali Kakis, but she did well, holding down her position. And it'll be cleared aside for thrown on the far side of the pitch for Unionville. Good job there from Unionville, able to get the ball forward. McLeod's running to that one, but Tiltek will be able to get to that ball first. And McLeod, smartly recognizing it, is going to stay as close as possible to the goalkeeper. Okay, you want to roll it out? I'm going to stay, watch where you throw that one out towards as this ball will ro continue to roll its way back towards Tiltek once again. Playing a short for Russell, who finds her teammates in Alicakis. She's able to play that ball up for Murray, who will lead this one off for Woods. Back for Murray. Murray, though, can't control the bouncing ball. And 
right now. Unionville is going to try and see if they can go somewhere with it as Morton with a good step. And now she's going to try to burst onto speed. But a good shift over there from Pierce. Able to come over and help out her midfielder by clearing this ball aside. It looks like she lost her boot a little bit there. So having to get the cleat back on her foot. She, when she kicked the ball out, it came off her ankle. And the Unionville team being nice here. They're waiting, for, even though she is off the field to play, doing some good sportsmanship and letting her get her boot back on her foot for restarting the this game. Coach staff coming over to help out as well. Referee says, okay, we waited long enough here. Let's get the play going. So temporarily, North Toronto will be down to 10 players as they try to fix the boot of Perizzi. I see some good ball control there from Smith. She's able to spread it out wide, and I think Murray was trying to leave it for a teammate there. As there's some shielding going on. And McLeod's gonna get called for the foul there. McLeod felt like she was handled back. That'll be a free kick for North Toronto instead. And Parisi back on the field. We'll get the touch pass towards her as she returns onto the field to play. Good step from her as she tried to play a pass over. And the clearance will hit off of the leg of Murray last for Unionville throw. This year's Gary Miller Charity Shield is fueled by Gatorade. With a proven blend of carbs and electrolytes, Gatorade is scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. As McLeod hits it back towards the Schillingford. And she's able to find Medley, who's going to play this one out wide and give chase on for Wong. Might be just a touch too far ahead for her to reach out to, and it will. It will go for a throw and right by the corner flag. So if Unionville stays close they can try to contain this North Toronto squad in their own corner and see if they can win the ball right back in the ball will find its way for Morton there's a long shot from distance and why not? You have that wind. Why not try to test from range? As Nemard's kick went over the goal. The Unionville bench was screaming at them to get close, and they do succeed as McLeod will get onto that one. And good save there from Tiltak. Just got enough of that one as she hustled to her right to get the hand onto that one to redirect it aside for a corner kick. It was a sneaky one, but those bouncing shots are always tricky as you try to track it and make sure you time it correctly on the diving save to make sure that doesn't squeak under you. So good job there from Madeline Teltak and goal for North Toronto. As we, you have yet another shoelace being fixed here, this time for Unionville. And we're ready to resume with this corner kick on the inswing. It's a high looping one. It's going to find its way for Nemard. Her shot gets blocked and it will be cleared away by Glean. All over the back there was Rubenian. And it's going to be a free kick in favor of North Toronto. As Rubenian will get called for the arm on the back of the North Toronto player. So we get close towards the first quarter break. Reminder again, two teams will be playing four quarters of 20 minutes. As there's a good pick there from Murray. Murray trying to play it out wide for Tola. Schellingford though does get in the way of that one. Now Tola once again. Try to pass it in for Murray. And this time it is Morrison who is able to get the block there. Two center backs busy here early for Unionville, but they're holding the line and not letting anything through the two of them. Oh, 
good throw coming in on that side from Ishmael. And it's going to get into a dangerous area, which McLeod will be able to win back for her team. McLeod pushing away through the midfield. Continues it forward as she tried to play through ball, and that gets blocked with another opportunity in. But Opong wasn't able to settle that one as it rolls off of her foot right towards the waiting North Toronto keeper. North Toronto thought that they won the throw and assistant referee disagreed and Unionville tried to take it in quickly. They catch North Toronto on their heels, but they are able to win the ball, but they're stuck in their own corner, trying to get themselves away from this oncoming pressure. Unionville will be the one to come out with this one as they try to play across in, but too strong to get to the leg of Morton, who is trying to get on the end of that cross. And the ball will pop out the other side and out for North Toronto throw the other way. As we have a quick hero look early. Unionville being the more physical of the two teams so far. Five fouls for Unionville. Just against just the single one for North Toronto. They got that wind advantage. They're trying to make use, full use of it. As this ball finds its way for Ishmael. And she's going to strike from distance. And won't hit the goal. Well, those are the type of chances. Okay, try to get it onto goal. Let's see if you can test the keeper. Maybe there's a rebound. Adventurous there from Ishmael, but I like the effort. Here's Blair Murray. Gets around the defender. Now she's trying to drive. Is Murray trying to get away from Schillingford, who's trying to win the ball right back. And Schillingford. Schillingford does enough pressure onto that one to allow, allow that ball to squeak free for Fiorina to pick up that ball. And she plays a long boot down the field. And this ball will continue to bounce its way all the way towards the other keeper. I see the indication from one minute of additional time here in the first quarter. here for North Toronto. They'll probably wind down the clock here. They'll put this one back into play and likely finish off this first quarter. No score so far here in this girls under 14. OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield between Unionville and North Toronto. But North Toronto trying to use every available second right now and get this ball up the field quickly. But Murray is getting followed all over the field by Schillingford and not allow her to go anywhere else as there goes the first quarter whistle as they're going towards a quick five minute break between these two teams. Ontario Soccer values fair play and we share this common passion with our partners for a respected sport, the leading e-learning platform for the prevention of bullying, abuse, harassment, and discrimination. Learn more about their programs and start your respect education journey today at respectgroupinc.com as we take a look at the first quarter stats. The one shot on goal was for Unionville and it was a very good opportunity but Tiltac was able to make the save. Otherwise, pretty easy going first quarter. But I expect these two teams to turn it up a notch for the second quarter. Don't go anywhere, folks. Just a two, three minutes. And we'll be back with the second corner between these two teams. with a ball. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. 
Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. We're here today at the uh, community check-in with our partners from SportCheck and Respect in Sport. We're having a great time with uh, 35 kids from our community. I'm just here to help out with the kids today while they were playing soccer during their boot camp and learning about everything they were learning about. A core value in sport, which is respect. Understanding respect with players that you're playing against, with your teammates, with your coaches, with the refs, and with the audience is extremely important. Our part in it is the Respect in Sport program for parents. The Respect in Sport Parent Program, it's a 60 minute program, costs 12 bucks, it's completed online and it just brings you onto the same page about these issues so that you can contribute to a positive and safe experience for your kids and for the rest of the people alongside you. Parents should attend the respectful play because they're involved in the games too. It, it's, it's a big part of the game and we need to respect everybody, especially the referees and everybody on the field. If you take the courses, you start to understand that your words have an impact on the players especially. I think all of these community events are just phenomenal opportunities for the children to become a little more acquainted with the true values that they need to have. And as a parent, I've also learned how to be more respectful with regards to other parents on the sidelines, referees, and as well as coaches. Well, my favorite part of today, it was meeting Dwayne. Dwayne, of course, is a legend of the Canadian game. Uh, and he had some uh, great wisdom to uh, impart on the uh, young players. Respect in sport is important because it teaches a lot of aspects of respect. Respect of time, respect of teammates, respect of community, respect for yourself. And And welcome back to the Ontario Soccer Centre here in Vaughan, Ontario for the second quarter of action. There's girls under 14 OPDL, Gary Miller, Charity Shield. See one change for Unionville coming into the game number 36, Evangelina Salasitas. She has come into the game for Unionville as the referee is urging the North Toronto players to get back on the field to play. As it was a pretty even first quarter, getting the best chance was from Alyssa McLeod with a great opportunity on a low drive, but Tiltek was equal to make the saves. As it doesn't look like any changes for North Toronto to start out the second quarter, so just the one substitution for Unionville, and you're ready to get this second quarter underway with referee Candido. back underway can Unionville make an advantage again the winds about say 20 kilometers an hour towards the North Toronto goal you can have a pretty good look at it yourselves if Unionville move up the field and you can see the corner flags yourself but so far North Toronto has been holding the line so far and Unionville want to see if they can take advantage here in the second quarter that's going to be the key here for these next 20 minutes It's Wong on the far side. Try to play it down the line. Gets blocked in there as this ball will continue to bounce around and Opong will have it as she's gonna tell Salasitas to go for a run. As she tries to place it towards her on the left side but Russell does well to shift over and she's able to clear the side. Look there on the newly substituted player, Salasitas. As she looks to Attempt to receive this throw-in. Ishmael does head onto that one, but she will keep it in play as she tries to lurch this ball forward. McLeod gets knocked off the ball, and it's gonna be a free kick going again, Sydney Glean. Uh, she's gonna get called for climbing into the back of McLeod. So this is a huge set piece opportunity for Unionville 
start out the second quarter definitely the way they would have wanted to start it. As Ariel Nemar just standing on top of this one, as well as Ishmael. We've seen Ishmael try to strike it from distance already. So we know she's got the power. As three players are in the wall for North Toronto. And Unionville wants to make sure that the wall is set in correctly in the correct spot. Asking for space. And here comes the boot from Nimard, and that's going to find its way over the goal. Got a little bit too much under that one. The referee giving Nimard a little bit of credit there on the, the distance. This time the North Toronto players take one step back. The referee judged herself and said, you know what, you're doing a good job. You got it exactly on the correct distance. It's always cool to hear a little bit of the crowd mics get into your headset here as Nimard once again is going to take a bounce. That ball's loose. And Salasitas, though, can't jump onto that one. Still Tech picks it up, but that's what you got to do sometimes. Those bouncing shots, especially with the wind, it will change the direction and make the ball either raise or lower itself. And it can be tricky as a keeper to track that one. It's almost like a knuckleball. So if you're playing those shots onto goals, you got to make sure you're hustling in for that rebound. And there could be a likely chance that ball could pop its way free. And we saw that one with the boys under 15 final. Quite a few rebounds with the tricky shots. And we're seeing a little bit of collection here in the second quarter. Good job there from Morrison, not allowing Murray to skip past her. As Morrison's going to go on a run up the field, but holding her ground there is Woods. As Murray now has it, it's going to play down towards this left side for Woods. Atola isn't able to win it for North Toronto. As this ball continues on the far side of the pitch for McLeod. McLeod will get the return pass as Russell comes over once again. Russell being the last woman back, cutting down any available runs. Can't clear it, however, but did well to slow down Unionville momentarily as McLeod did well to dance away from a couple players. But once again, she's going to run into Maya Russell. And Russell did well to clear the side for throwing. Cloud chips it forward for Medley. Medley hits it off of the North Toronto player who went down in a bit of a heap. That's Tola. Likely got the wind knocked out of her. And says so she's okay. Medley making sure she's okay. Good, good thing to see between the two teams. And they're ready to resume play with the throwing. Although this is a Charity Shield final, these two teams, a lot of competitiveness, are showing some great sportsmanship between the two squads. We've seen a couple moments of that already here in this match. This is a good throwing down the line. Opong trying to get to it for Unionville. She will. Nemard and her play a very nice triangle. And Nemard's passing the left foot. Just gets poked aside by uh, by Russell once again. And it's going to be a corner kick for Unionville. Anika Medley coming over to take it on the in-swing. And here comes the boots, a high looping one, a tricky one. Tiltak though does do well to find that one in the air as she makes a critical catch. As that one could have been uh, sneaking his way into the near post of the goal if Tiltak didn't come forward to catch that one. Good goalkeeping there from the North Toronto side as they're gonna try to see if they can attack the other way as we see some good passing in, but Morrison will block the first opportunity. And Morrison once again clears the side in. There goes the ball over the defense. It's McLeod in on goal. McLeod puts it into the bottom corner. 
Unionville get their goal. And it was a high clearance from Morrison. Got over the defender's head and McLeod by herself just places it comfortably into the bottom corner. It's no chance for tilt and goal. But Alyssa McLeod, 35 goals in the OPDL season, gets probably the most important one for this season for her. As she gives her team a 1-0 lead. And this girl's under 14 OPDL, Gary Miller, Charity Shield. And that's perfect utilization of that wind right there. Just rides its way over by North Toronto. Responding nicely, I like it. Give up a goal, try to attack right back and see if they can win it. And see if they can tie this game right back up. As Morrison though, the one who just set up that goal, will clear the side for a throw in. Best of the West versus the Best of the East has lived up to its battle so far. As we know, North Toronto knows how to find the back of the net again. These two teams, it was a four all scoreline. Most goals either of them gave up all season was against each other. Russell, good job there. No, nope. that ball just went over the touchline. I thought Smith was able to keep that one in. Assistant referee disagreed. And Ishmael will get the throw in. Good throw from her. Cloud though wasn't able to control it and that's gonna allow North Toronto to hit this one up the field. And there is Murray trying to get around Morrison. Morrison does well, hold down her footing. And they'll be able to hit into the midfield for Nemard. Morrison's clearance though goes straight towards Smith. Finds his way for Glean. Glean falls down, but the referee will have wave advantage as Pierce tries to cross that one in. Morrison will be able to control that one, but she clears it right back towards the North Toronto midfielder who danced away from the pressure. Some little shots there from the North Toronto bench. Hoping for a free kick there. Wasn't much into that one, however. But North Toronto will continue with the possession. But a lot of players up the field right now for North Toronto, and that's left a massive gap in the middle of the field. And Unionville is going to make full use of it by winning the ball right back for their team. Wong on the far side. Able to win the throw. As she plays it down the line for McLeod, the goal scorer. Got two white jerseys on her. Tries to spin away from the danger. She falls down, however. But Unionville continues to get this ball forward as they try to cross it in to Salasitas in front of the goal. But Russell is there to kick this one back towards the midfield. And Nemard's trying to get away from that oncoming pressure to put this one right back in for Unionville. Good step and run from Opong. The change of pace, always tricky as a defender. If you take a little short touch, the player will ease up a little bit and you turn on the Jets, it's hard to quickly react. And Opong did well, get herself some space, but just didn't get that pass through to McLeod. That through ball will go up the field, but no white jerseys were up. And that's going to allow some time here for Fiorini to pick up the loose ball and take time to drop kick this one right back towards midfield. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nem 
mark. Southeast can't get to that one as Russell once again comes over to kick that one aside. Canada Soccer's men's national team returns home to Toronto at the battle for a spot in the CONCACAF Nations League Final Four and a place at the 2024 Copa America. Catch Canada's top international stars led by Alfonso Davies, Jonathan David, and Tejon Buchanan on home soil as they take on Jamaica on Tuesday, November 21st at BMO Field. Secure your seats today starting at just $15 at CanadaSoccer.com. As McLeod showcases some good flashes once again. As this bug finds its way for Neymar, Neymar is going to try from distance, and she finds the top corner! Rhea Neymar with a screamer into the top corner. It started from McLeod over in the near corner. Some good fork, it gets cleared away to Ishmael, and Neymar just places that one into the top corner. Tiltak wasn't able to reach that one as it goes over her jumping hand. And Riel Nemard doubles the lead for this Unionville Millican squad as they take the lead now 2 0. And this girl's under 14. OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield. And I would say it's a pretty fair score in this second quarter. This Unionville squad has just picked up another level right now. And they've held the majority of the possession so far. Again, keep in mind though, they do have that win advantage. So North Toronto, although they might be feeling a little bit down, think might be thinking, okay, we will get that same advantage for the third and fourth quarter. And Emmer could be a competition for goal of the weekend right there with that shot. Alikakis finds Tola. That's going to be the key. The North Toronto players have involved the Murray quite a bit on the top line. They got to try and see if they can get that left side with Tola, who's had 16 goals this season, try to get herself a little bit more involved in the play if possible. As Morrison will hit this one high and clear, and McLeod is going to let this one run for a team's throwing. Cloud with the opening goal, now Nemhard with the second, has Unionville leading 2-0. As they look to try and see if they can add one more here onto this attack. Cloud trying to pull the ball back, took a little bit of a stumble on the turf. Slow to get up, the referee coming over to make sure that McLeod is okay. And North Toronto will throw this one back in. There's McLeod again, trying to play a centering pass for a Pong, but Russell is there to hit this one up the field towards Murray. Murray, if she's able to get away from the two center backs, that's Schillingford who gets called for the foul. And she'll get a quick warning here from the referee. If she's able to find some space, maybe take a little, some steps towards either wing, See if she can run in between or behind the two Unionville center backs. She'll be able to create herself some space. But that's going to be the key there. Is right now, Schillingford is going wherever Murray goes. Murray goes up the field. We've seen into the midfield. We've seen Schillingford run all the way into the midfield to follow the North Toronto attacker. Wong. Now play this one through the middle, but Russell will be able to kick it back forward. As she finds Tola. A little bit of back and forth, and McLeod will look to try to settle it. As she wins it off of the North Toronto defender, Ali Kakas. Smith 
Chips it forward, and here comes Murray. There's the potential right there, and it's gonna be a foul against Morrison. And the North Toronto bench trying to see if they can get a yellow card now, but it's the other center back who got the warning. So both center backs getting, taking down Murray here in consecutive minutes. And like we were saying earlier, this is gonna be the key here for these, for Murray, trying to see if she can get herself some space and get herself up to the pace we can see coming out from her. And she'll be able to create these opportunities as they get it set up for this set piece. Russell ready to cross this one in. It's a little close to the keeper, and that's a comfortable catch there for Fiorini. And she'll look to throw this one up the field as Medley hits it forward towards a pong. A pong tried to return it towards Medley, but Medley did well, and she'll be able to win it right back. A pong once again. A pong trying to split through the defenders herself. But she ran out of space to maneuver with that ball. Good turn from a pong. Very comfortable with their turns. She plays this one in towards Medley. Medley tried to chip it forward for McLeod. But there's Alagagas able to hit this one back in towards the air. Ishmael, Madley trying to get to it first. Going to continue to battle for it. There's Glean though. And she hits it over towards Pirizzi. Good shielding from Smith. And she'll give herself enough space to work this ball forward. Just about a minute left to go here in the second quarter. And the girls under 14, OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield. Unionville Mill can have found two goals in this quarter. And they have taken the lead 2-0 against this North Toronto Soccer Club team. But expect I expect a possibly very different third quarter with the wind. If North Toronto is able to take advantage of that, they can find a way to get two goals back, I would feel. Sign challenge coming in from Salasitas will get called. She got the ball, but she also got the player as well. Okay, call for a free kick, which will take it taken in quickly for Galeen. Kearney. Galeen once again, nice turn from Galeen. And she's able to slide onto that one, and she'll be able to hit that forward for Smith. Galeen back onto her feet, picks up the ball. And she's gonna go down towards the corner. As it's two minutes. Two minutes of additional time here in this second quarter. As Glean looks like she's hobbling a little bit, maybe after that sliding challenge, gets the ball to throw in, but didn't look comfortable with the ball getting thrown into her. Probably just picked up a little bit of a knock and trying to jog it off. As you see a good battle going in on the far side, but Schillingford does win for Unionville, and they're gonna play this one down the line, which McLeod will now give chase. And I is Recognizing the pressure coming in from the speedy Unionville player, we'll just clear it aside for throwing and allow her teammates to get back in support. Gonna hit 
off of last. And it's going to hit off of Salicidus last. So it's going to be North Toronto throwing. Maybe enough time for one more opportunity. Unionville will win it as Nemart hits this one up for McLeod. Kearney under pressure there. Turns it back over towards Unionville. About to pass it. We'll go in behind Ishmael. Yeah, she does a nice spin to try to move this ball forward. She goes right in towards a couple of North Toronto players. We'll pick up the ball in midfield. Maybe enough time for one rush for themselves. No, it's not. As there goes the whistle to end the second quarter. And this girls under 14, OPDL, Gary Miller, Charity Shield. As we go in towards the another break here, it's Unionville Milliken 2, North Toronto nil. Today's Gary Miller Charity Shield is fueled by Gatorade. With a proven blend of carbs and electrolytes, Gatorade is scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. We're going to go to again here as we take a look on the numbers. Unionville dominated that second quarter and it's reflected there on the stats. But again, the wind and the teams will change sides. So North Toronto will try and see if they can take advantage as we get towards the third quarter here momentarily. Don't go anywhere, folks. Another quick few minute break and we'll be back with the third quarter. Soccer serve. And now the draw for the two tickets to see Canada's women's team play the Reggae Boys November 21st at Juno Field. The ticket number is ticket 06 The Active Start course is for anyone involved in soccer who wants to better support a child ages 3 and 4 years old. Those taking the course will learn how to engage children through soccer with age-appropriate, fun and safe soccer activities. The aim of these soccer activities is to become familiar with a soccer ball while being in a child-friendly environment and connecting with a significant adult in their life. Come be a part of helping kids fall in love with the game. The C license course is the first step into the Canada Soccer Coaching License stream. This course will take you towards all of the Canada Soccer Coach licenses. You will learn the role of the coach, how to plan a session safely, use coaching methodology to provide feedback to players and improve their decision making. Entry to this course requires a Learn to Train or Soccer for Life. This is a major step for coaches to help their players develop to higher levels of the game in Canada.
The Learn to Train course is for people who want to take the first step towards becoming a trained coach in Ontario. This is one of the courses that will teach you training activities and small-sided games for U9 and U12 girls and U10 and U12 boys. Coaches who Welcome back to the Ontario Soccer Center in Vaughan, Ontario for third quarter action in this girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield. Martin Holmes here on the play by play as we see a couple substitutions coming in here for North Toronto. We'll be seeing Do Ashwin Doyle come into the game as well as Maya Nicopolis. And a change in goalkeeper for North Toronto as Charlotte Silver will be coming in goal for North Toronto as well. So three changes for North Toronto as we get, in, get ready for this third quarter. As Unionville's goals from McLeod and Nemard separate the two teams as we have a look there on Silver getting in towards the pipes. But again, this time North Toronto does have the advantage of the win. Will they make full use of it? We'll have to see here as the third quarter is underway for the next two quarters of 20 minutes. I saw Murray during that little break there was going over to the sidelines, hold, holding down over her breath. Murray got the wind knocked out of her, got a couple of knocks right in towards the stomach. So it didn't seem like she looked like she was 100%, but had a look there with the coaching staff and looked like she'll be okay here as Doyle, one of the substitute players, throws that ball in. So then by Glean trying to take a shot there as that one gets blocked as Nicopolis makes her first contribution by winning her team a corner kick. As the Bank of Soccer with decades investing in soccer programming at all levels, BMO is committed to growing the game and increasing gender equity in soccer and beyond. We are thrilled to welcome BMO as the new lead partner of Ontario Soccer's gender equity and empowerment initiatives, including the new innovative BMO Girls Play On initiative from BMO. As we get set up for this North Toronto corner kick and in swing as they have two goal players right around that goalie trying to make her life a living nightmare as they almost succeed as that ball does hit off a Unionville player's head towards the far post but nobody was in tight for North Toronto as there was a sliding challenge and trying to continue on to run on the right side and Ishmael is going to come over and make sure that the North Toronto player that is Glean on the far side is okay. That'll be a free kick for North Toronto. And they're coming out here quick and fast to start with this third quarter. Are the Unionville coaching staff yelling as they're putting three players in the wall, which is very interesting. And the coach staff is just screaming, only two in the wall, get away from the wall, get in and help in on the penalty areas. This one's gonna get lurched in, and that's gonna go into the goal! A beautiful set piece! 
as that one gets placed right over the goalkeeper in towards the back of the goal. And Alexia Kerjerjakis is able to get her team back into this game with a beautiful free kick. And Alexia Kerjerjakis, Kerjerjakis it gets her 13th goal of the season. And this is exactly how this North Toronto team wanted to start out this second half, third quarter, if you want to call it. With a goal, getting themselves right back to the game, getting one back, and trying to get the momentum to see if they can push themselves forward for another. But it almost see, especially what we were saying with that win, it all it just seems almost impossible. And then they, the ball goes and it just continues to fly. And just you're seeing that one go into the goal. You're seeing Nemhard with a great shot and care. Jajakis with one herself. And North Toronto trying to utilize that momentum to go forward. But Ishmael going to go on and attack herself as she's going to run herself down the line as Russell will finally clear it away. Shut down that left back's run up the field. Perfect plan right here for Unionville. Give up a goal, try to slow down the play as much as you can, make the momentum slow itself down. You saw North Toronto coming in a little bit frantically. Right now, Unionville saying, okay, we have the ball, we'll take our time, get that momentum slowed down, and put it back towards an even game play out here on the pitch. They don't want to let this North Toronto team start to rally. Kerja Jackis. Now place one down the line. Doyle will give chase as Unionville is going to try and see if they can wait for that ball to roll its way out for a throw in. Fusion on both hands. So Unionville player thought it went out. So the assistant referee waved that it was there was a touch there. So it was a no trial throw. They did pick up that ball. And the referee apologized to North Toronto Edge saying they didn't see she didn't see the touch, and but the fourth official and assistant referee did. And they let her know saying no, there was a touch. So North Toronto got the throw in after that confusion as it will go all the way out for a goal kick regardless. And Unionville will play in short. Good pressure coming in from Murray. Forces another goal kick. And again, North Toronto will do what Unionville did right back to them. Play it short, stay close to that penalty area, and attack them right off first pass. who's dropped back into more of a right back position trying to help out her team as it's going to hit off of Schilling for her to look like last for another throw -in. as we see one notice one substituted player here for Unionville number nine Miriam Barahidis she's into the game for Unionville and she's filled in where Nemard's position was in the first half as Nemard's going to hit this ball forward Murray. Try to play it back for Doyle. Doyle does well to spin away from that pressure. She's going to fight off Farahidis. As Murray's going to win her team a free kick. As Schillingford will get called for the foul again. She did get a warning from the referee in the first half. Nothing to do here with uh, that one. But we just saw a beautiful set piece taken goal. Can North Toronto do it again this time with Abitola? Tola trying to get that ball to settle as the ball continues to roll with the wind. Go, 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 go. 
as Tola goes for goal. Fiorini makes the catch and she falls right back on top of it. Good job there from Sofia Fiorini by not only making sure, okay, got the block, but control that block enough to know where it's gonna go and make the catch. So another nice set piece taken from North Toronto, but they still remain down two to one here in this Charity Shield final. Good turn from Woods. Woods trying to play down the line, and it's going to be watched its way out for a throw in for Carriger Jackets. Verahidis gets to that one first, but Murray takes it right away off of her. She plays it back towards Doyle. Here comes the cross in from Doyle, and Unionville will have to clear the side, and it's another corner kick for North Toronto. They're putting the pressure on to start out this second half. Both TFC and CPL are vital aspirational destinations along the talented pathway. TFC, through its TFC Academy, is a pinnacle club soccer destination for aspiring professional male soccer players in our province. And the CPL is Canada's top tier men's domestic professional league, represented on terabytes by its member clubs Forge FC, York United FC, and Electrical Ottawa. It provides important, as this one gets into the goal, it takes a deflection. And I think it might have hit off of a Unionville player last there. But I think I'm gonna have to, I might have to see that replay once again. It yeah, it looks like it hit off of the head of Nemard last. So it's going to be a goal straight from the corner kick. So it's going to be an own goal against Unionville there. And that has made this game tied up at 2-2. So an own goal. And I, I'm going to see how they credit it. Maybe it'll go as just they credit it as an own goal. And it looks like they're going to give the goal to Karajajakis for now. But we can pretty much say it's a Unionville own goal here. But it is 2-2 here in this one. As North Toronto has come out flying to start out this third quarter. And in the span of 10 minutes, they've erased that two-goal deficit. Russell, long boot up down the right side. Too far, though. Get on the run of Tola. And it'll go all the way out for a goal kick. Here's Nemart. We get a confirmation here, so they're giving the goal. See some argument right now with North Toronto. As they're, North Toronto bench, they're trying to figure out, okay, who go, who's gonna get credit for the goal here? And they're asking the North Toronto bench. And I believe it was number 28, Abby Tola. So they're gonna give the credit to number 28, Abby Tola for the goal. But it was an own goal as it hit off of the Unionville player last, but Tola with the second goal for North Toronto. After you, I'm trying to listen to the discussions here going in as they're trying to figure out who to give credit to. But it eventually goes out here for a Unionville thrown on the far side of the field. Here's Murray. Murray, gonna take a shot but Fiorini does make the save. Coach Montgomery though for North Carolina on the feet. 
yelling at the players, urging them forward. Very impressed with how they have shown up here in this third quarter. McLeod takes a tumble there. And it's going to go to the right side. It's very he just gets knocked off the ball by Doyle. And it'll be a free kick going against Doyle for that challenge. Nemard getting told to bring the ball back. And he'll try to loop this ball in forward again as Nemard finds him a cloud. Cloud doing well with the ball, trying to dance away from the pressure, but finally. Alikakis will be able to find it momentarily clear to side, but McLeod gets that ball right back for Medley. Medley's trying to get her way forward. Clear to side though by Kearney, and she's able to withstand that upcoming Unionville pressure. Coming in is Medley once again, and Kearney once again is forced to clear that one aside. So some good pressure coming in right now from the Unionville team trying to see if they can get back that advantage they held. Good job there from Doyle. But spinning away there is Urbenian. Trying to play a little one-two, but Rubinia can't get on to the end, other end of that pass as it took off deflection off of Doyle last, and Unionville will get the throw. miscommunication between the two Unionville players I was trying to get to that ball was another substitution Balakumarin as the play still continues on though with Woods Woods and Balakumarin back for the ball and Balakumarin will hit this ball forward but straight towards Glean Glean to the right side for Tola Nice quick touching here from North Toronto. And that ball will find its way down for Murray. Murray takes a tumble. That gets some loud cheers. But look like there's just a colliding of a couple of players going down. And North Toronto thought they won themselves a penalty there. Letting their case be known towards the fourth official. But the play still resumes with Alikakis. Russell. Towards Kearney, and she gets it taken away from her by Medley. Kearney trying to win it back, and Medley tries to find someone to pass the ball into, and it does find its way over towards McLeod. McLeod coming in very slow, and she goes back down to the turf, does McLeod after that collision with Russell. And the referee will blow the play dead so they can take a look towards the injured Unionville striker. And they ask for the training staff to come out to take a look at the injured player. Ontario Soccer is pleased to welcome back Sport Check, Canada's largest sports retailer as its official sporting goods retail partner. Both partners share the goal of inspiring Ontarians to live healthy, active lifestyles by making sport and activity more fun, approachable, and inclusive. With a vast assortment of apparel and equipment and the very best athletic brands in the world, Sport Check strives to help athletes and enthusiasts of all levels succeed. Find what moves you at sporttrek.ca. And it looks like Unionville is getting ready to make a sub. 
But McLeod, it looks like she's trying to say, no, I'm good. I want to come back on the field. So a little communication right now. But so temporarily, Unionville will play down one player. As we resume play with Unionville back on full strength momentarily. McLeod was waved back on the field. But I don't think she's noticed yet. So there you go. She's noticed now. And it's going to be a throw in though for Ward North Toronto right at midfield. Uh, as Unionville's returned back to 11 players on the pitch. Long ball up there from Alikakis will go all the way out here for a goal kick. As the third quarter has been all North Toronto. As we see a substitution coming up here for Unionville. They wanted to make this up and they are going to make it as they going to enter in. Uh, Iris Opong re-enters number 12. And she's going to replace number 11, Bavna Balkamarin. So Opong re-enters the game in the central midfield. As they will start play with a short kick as they try to play it up towards Opong. And Opong battles hard to try to prevent North Toronto go any further as Doyle will hit this one back towards her defensive counterparts. Rowan and Murray allows this one to roll as she tries to run into the corner as Morrison though is able to get to that ball first and she's going to hold it into the corner is Morrison as she continues to try to roll the ball out of danger as she does win her team a throw. Good job there from Georgina Morrison holding off of that oncoming pressure. And we'll be seeing two minutes of additional time. Let's go here in this third quarter. as the wind is playing its part. And Unionville gonna have to, during this break, come up with a strategy in these five minutes. How can they withstand the oncoming pressure of North Toronto and finish off these next 20 minutes? Carriage Jackets. Doyle hits off the back of Murray. And Ishmael will be able to clear it away as far as Doyle. Kara Jajakis. Puts it in towards a dangerous area and a little bit of a miss hit there from the Unionville midfielder. Allows that ball to go towards the corner. And North Toronto will get themselves another throw in here with about 40 seconds left to go in this third quarter. As they try to launch an attack onto the Unionville goal with this throw in. Murray. There goes Doyle's cross. Once again, cleared away by Ishmael. She's played a very solid game in the left back position, has Ishmael, for Unionville. As Morrison will find that loose ball and chip the ball forward momentarily. But the attack still comes in. And Morrison, once again, will have to clear the side. And she kicks it right towards Garrett Jackis. And her shot will curl its way wide of the goal, which will likely do it here for this third quarter. And the referee's allowing play to continue. So, oh, there we go. There is the third quarter whistle. As we go in towards the third quarter break, folks, in this girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller charity shield between Unionville and North Toronto. And as you take a look here on towards this match, stats much more even. Now that North Toronto had that wind advantage, the shots on target even, corners even. Just Unionville with a significant more amount of fouls. 
at the end of the day, it is a two-all scoreline going into the break, folks. Don't go anywhere. Final 20 minutes left to go in this one. Who's going to take it home? We'll have to wait and see. And we're back here at the Ontario Soccer Centre in Vaughan, Ontario. Where we'll be having the fourth quarter action in this tied game in the North Toronto and Unionville in the girls under 14 OPDL, Gary Miller Charity Shield. Unionville got two goals in the second quarter, utilizing the wind, and North Toronto got to themselves in the third quarter. There's still 20 minutes left to go. Can North Toronto find one more or will Unionville break onto the counterattack find one themselves we'll have to wait and see as we get this action underway here very shortly with the final 20 minutes and it'll be North Toronto in the white and green going from your right to your left going against the Union 
Pikeville squad in the all red on the from your left to your right and see some early pressure coming in as Danica Medley with some good footwork gets himself free as she's trying to play a pass in for McLeod but touch too heavy though and goes right towards Silver in goal who's coming to goal for North Toronto in this second half. Doyle feeling the pressure, and it gets played over towards Wong. She's re-entered the field to play in this fourth quarter as McLeod takes another bit of tumble, and McLeod's feeling it here, taking an absolute beating here, has the striker Alyssa McLeod in this match. Has fallen down the turf several times, and hopefully she'll be able to finish off this final 20 minutes for her team that she'll ask for this throw-in. Russell clears it right towards Nemard. Second clearance goes right towards Nemard once again, who doesn't get much of a boot onto that one, as it'll roll its way all the way out for a goal kick. In the second quarter was McLeod in the 27th minute, and then Nemard in the 32nd, which got the Unionville Millican Soccer Club up two to nothing in the third quarter. It was Alexia Karajajakis in the 43rd and in own goal. A few minutes after that one off a corner kick from Tola. Got them all tied up at twos. Just a reminder though, if this game does remain tied after the 80 minutes and what we just saw in the game previously, we go straight to penalties in a best of five scenario. And then a battle between the best of the West and the best of the East. They're showcasing why they were the top teams in their divisions. As it's going to be called for a handball going against North Toronto. As the crowd tries to make some noise in for both teams. In an act of one, cheering on their teams in this fourth quarter in a pivotal match. And number two, staying warm. Nicopolis. It's a forward for Murray. There's a sliding challenge coming in from Morrison, and Morrison can't keep that one out, so it's going to be another corner kick for North Toronto. As Carriger Jackis comes over to take that one on the in swing. Both goals coming off set pieces. As the referee blows the play dead here momentarily. And I maybe I might be a cut. Now it looks like the North Toronto player might have a cut right now. And she's having to come over towards the sidelines. So can it come over to take a look at the North Toronto player? And it's just a bloody nose here. So having to clear that one up is Murray. So they're gonna have to deal without her for a couple misses. This one gets brought in, and it goes straight into the goal! Using the wind to the perfect advantage, Alexia Karajajakis flies that one high in the air into the back corner of the goal. Virini comes over, everyone jumps forward, and Karajajakis gets her second goal of the game with a beautiful effort over everybody. And straight off the corner kick, it is a North Toronto goal. And even though they're down a player right now, they're feeling comfortable. And now we got another injured player. It's a keeper for North Toronto. And just having, this looks like she was just stretching it out. Oh, uh, <laughs> You know, the goalkeeper, after they score the goal, the North Toronto keeper goes down, needs a few seconds there. And 
utilize that time to clear up the cut for Murray so she could get back onto the field to play. So that's some teamwork right there from North Toronto, trying to delay some time so they can get their players all back on the field to play. But we are ready to resume here with just under 15 minutes and North Toronto down to nil at the halftime break, flying out here with three goals and they have taken the lead. And this goes under 14, OPDL Gary Miller, Charity Shield. And they're looking to try to see if they can add one more with Murray who is back on. Hits it over towards the double goal scorer, Carriger Jackis, and that ball squeaks its way through! And goes under and wide. A dangerous cross. Fiorini comes out of the goal. It sneaks under her. I'm not too sure if she hesitated because she saw a defender coming in from her own team, and the ball goes in right between them, but fortunately squeaks its way past the goal as the ball will go out here for another goal kick for Unionville and despite not having the wind with them Unionville now have to find a way to get themselves all tied up now as you have a good look there on coach Don Duff you're trying to figure out okay what can he do what kind of formation changes will they add an extra attacker we'll have to wait and see what they try to do as we get closer towards the 80th what did they have to do to see if they could get this game all tied up? Once again, today's Gary Miller Charity Shield is fueled by Gatorade with a proven blend of carbs and electrolytes. Gatorade is scientifically formulated, so you never stop competing. As Woods is able to pick the ball up, she gets knocked down. Does Woods, coming in from behind was Medley. And I'll be out for another free kick for North Toronto. And with three set pieces goals, they're trying to see if they can add one more to the tally with Tola being the set piece taker once again with the right boot. And recognizing is Unionville, okay, this is every time it's gonna be a shot now. Putting an extra player on the wall this time, adding a fourth player to try and see if they can block Tola from getting onto the goal. Comes the boot from Tola. Good effort, Fiorini. Excellently equal as she punches that one aside, jumping to her left to make the save. Good curl shot there from Tola, going for that far post. Uh, Fiorini equal to the task. Trying to move up the field with throw-ins. Working her way up. As it finally gets settled in here by Tola. And Tola's holding off a couple Unionville players. And Tola will win his team a free kick after all of that. They're going to get a call for a foul colliding into the back of the North Toronto player who is shielding the play. Long boot up from Russell. That will likely find its way all the way out for a goal kick. North Toronto going to continue with the press. in the far corner is Unionville and they're able to make this throw in down the line. Fajitas calling for that one but uh, it's going to be a North Toronto throw in and they'll take this one in quickly <coughs> as Russell chips this ball forward. 
good block there by Schillingford. And again, I gotta give full credit towards this Unionville center back pairing. They've held strong. Any play in open play, they've been there and winning, done a good job of winning some successful challenges for their team to win the ball right back. Bong. Trying to play it up for Nemard. Gets it taken away from her as Doyle's going to play this one in long. And now it's going to roll all the way to back towards the Unionville keeper. Jumping for that challenge there was Glean. She's going to collide with Nemard. Glean slow to get up after that one, but the play will still resume. And the referee will blow the play dead. And I'm not too sure if the ball went out of play just yet or they're going to have to... It looks like they're well, still in play, so they're going to have to resume with a drop ball. Here comes Kara Drajakis. She's going to go from distance once again. Comfortable catch for Fiorini. And Fiorini getting a good boot on these ones towards the midfield. She's able to find McLeod. McLeod, though, gets it poked away from her. And here comes Murray now. She's going to play this one out wide. Kara Drajakis on the chase. Trying to get to that one first. But Schillingford will be able to come over, and she gets to that one. As she'll play it down the line. For Medley. Medley. Good ball for Medley. She's going to get this one off from McLeod. It's a one on one. But Russell, the last player back, able to poke it away. A beautiful ball from Medley. Perfectly placed to get onto the run of McLeod. But she wasn't able to contribute. And McLeod's got both of her shoelaces undone, I've just noticed as well. Might have to fix that one before she gets onto another run up the field. Medley. Try to play that one through the middle. As it's going to go here for Schillingford. She's going to have to shield it away from the oncoming North Toronto player. And she'll see that one all go all the way out for a goal kick. Schillingford under pressure. Might have taken one touch too many, but she does win her team a kick as Murray came in a little bit late to try to block that one. And the Unionville crowd trying to cheer on their team, urge them forward to see if they can find themselves back into this game. As we get a reminder who these two teams are playing for, the Unionville Millican are playing for Canadian Tire Jumpstart. As Jumpstart helps kids overcome financial and accessibility barriers to sport and recognition in an effort to provide inclusive play for kids of all abilities. And North Toronto is playing for Kids Help Phone. Kids Help Phone is Canada's only national 24-hour bilingual and anonymous phone counseling, web counseling, and referral service for children and youth. Whether by phone, mobile app, or through their websites, kids can connect with someone whenever they want, however they want. As Carriage Jackis plays across towards the far post. They had a player right open on the far post. That was Nicopolis. And it gets cleared aside for another corner kick on the far side of the field. As you have a look at both of the assistant referees. As soon, another deserving team will engrave their name into OPDL history and hoist the beautiful Gary Miller Charity Shield Trophy, tastefully updated by Nothers the Award Store. For more than 50 years, Nothers the Award Store has been a lead supplier of awards and recognition programs across Ontario, offering complete assistance all the way from program concept planning all the way to product delivery. See how they can help your organization at Nothers.com. 
as they see some pushing and shoving going on in front of the goal. Uh, the referee's going to have a word with both players as the goalkeeper Fiorini is trying to get herself into position, but North Toronto players are surrounding her. And another ball looped in, and this time it hits the top of the goal. Kerja Jack is trying again. You know what? It worked once. Why not try again? Pong. Gonna send this one through. Blocked there by Alicakis. Rebenyan. Wong throwing this one in quickly for Medley. And ship this forward for McLeod. But Russell just boots that one away and far out of the pitch. Just under four minutes left to go. Unionville held the 2 0 lead, but three goals in the second half for North Toronto puts them out in front in this one. But Unionville not giving up here as Medley screaming towards the assistant referee, feeling she should have won a free kick. She'll get herself on the end of this throw and she'll take a first time cross. Good ball from her. Russell struggles to deal with that one as Nemard is able to get it. For Wong and Karajajakis is able to get there. She'll hit this one towards midfield. Rebenyan. To the right side and Doyle will see that one and clear it aside. So some good pressure coming in from Unionville. They just got to find that one ball in towards the penalty area. There's McLeod right by the corner flag. And it looked like she tried to play it off of the North Toronto player and win her team a goal kick, but she was unsuccessful with hitting the North Toronto player. So it's just going to be a goal kick, and that's going to allow them to play it long and up the field and cleared away from the danger. Gets around the defender, she falls down afterwards. Ishmael can't believe it. That's well, gonna be a free kick for North Toronto. And the set piece maestro herself, Carriage Jack is coming over to take another set piece, almost identical where she scored the first goal. Now let's see if the left foot to take her can curl it into the top corner once again. comes the boot once again. Big save from Fiorini as she deflects it onto the bar. And the bullet's still loose and Unionville will find it and clear it out of the penalty area. Doyle, she's gonna strike from distance and that goes over the goal. Karajajakis almost did it again, but Sofia Fiorini, beautiful save, deflects it onto that crossbar. Just got enough of it. And keeps Unionville with a fighting chance. And this OPDL, Gary Miller Charity Shield. Morrison. Up the field, gets a block there by Glean. And this ball will roll its way out for Unionville throw as they're in the final moments. And this one, they gotta be sending everyone forward to Unionville. And Medley will be able to hit it up and try to get it to four. McLeod gets cleared away, but this is going to allow Unionville to bring players forward. As they throw it down the line, they'll get another opportunity. 
McLeod tried to take it in quickly, but had no one in sight as we look for the indication from the fourth official. And it's two minutes of additional time left to go here in this one. Medley does well. And she's holding her nose after that collision. Good hustle there from McLeod, able to get to another ball, gets cleared away. And they're gonna have to grab yet another one. As North Toronto getting, finding any ball that's still played in, kick it as far as they can away. Murray able to pick up the ball and now she's gonna go on to a run is Murray. Murray though gets stopped in her tracks by Morrison. The stack till continues, but Shellingford is there. Hit it back towards midfield. The Unionville players are not back into position just yet, but Medley gets onto her legs as she's gonna carry this ball forward. Clock like Rubenian and hit high by Morrison once again. Looks like North Toronto wanting to make one more substitution. Maybe kill some seconds on the clock on their next chance or t as Ishmael wins it for Unionville. She's gonna head it up the field. One more chance up for Unionville. McLeod takes a tumble and she does win her team a free kick. And this is Unionville's chance right here on this set piece opportunity. And it's a substitution for North Toronto. As coming back into the game is number 31, Sienna Piracy. And she's going to replace number 51, Maya Nicopolis. As here comes that Unionville set piece. It's going to bounce in. The ball still loose. Takes a couple of ricochets. But Silver is able to find the ball. And she makes an important catch. As the coach staff for North Toronto saying, boot the ball as far as you can up the field. Pirisi plays it into the corner, knows, okay, play the ball into the corner, even if Unionville gets the throw and they gotta get the time for it. As is there enough time for Unionville? But there goes the full-time whistle. And the girls under 14 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield champions are North Toronto Soccer Club with a come from behind 3-2 victory against Unionville Milliken Soccer Club. As we take a look towards the full-time stats, the second half was all North Toronto taking full use of the win, got themselves some critical set piece taken. And they pick home the Charity Shield here in this afternoon's game and what was a thrilling match. Today's Gary Miller Charity Shield was fueled by Gatorade with a proven blend of carbs and electrolytes. A Gatorade is scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Thank you again to our proud partners for today's event. Our premier partners, Toronto FC and the Canadian Premier League. Our program partners, Gatorade, as well as our premier partners, BMO, and supporters, supporters in respect and sport, Sport Check, not as the award store, and of course, our sport partners, Canada Soccer. I'd like to thank everyone who's tuned in, and as well, congratulations to North Toronto, as their victory will help support Kids Help Phone. Kids Help Phone is Canada's only national 24-hour bilingual and anonymous phone counseling, web counseling, and refer service for children and youth. Whether by phone, mobile app, or through the websites, kids can connect with someone whenever they want, however they want. 
Congratulations go out as well, not just towards North Toronto, but Unionville on an incredible season. Both their two teams have earned their rights here in this OPDL Charity Shield Final, and it's been a thrilling match. We still have one more match left to go here today. It'll be the girls under 17 final at four o'clock. So make sure don't go anywhere, folks, as we'll see each other shortly. And until next time, folks, we'll see you guys later. And that's a wrap on what has been an exhilarating day right here at the Ontario Soccer Centre. We've witnessed incredible skill, teamwork, and sportsmanship from many teams today. A heartfelt thank you to all the fans who filled the stands, both here at the stadium and those watching from afar. Your support is what makes these moments so special. To the players, coaches, match officials, and families, thank you for supporting the beautiful game in Ontario with such grace and determination. Special shout out to our partners whose support help make the Gary Miller Charity Shield a reality. We look forward to more unforgettable soccer moments that are sure to come. From all of us at Ontario Soccer, thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep the spurt of soccer alive and continue to play. Inspire. Unite.